So when we teach our uh, cabinets for our Woods 2 project, which is our nightstand, uh, we, to teach the door, we go ahead and teach a picture frame uh, in the style of a cabinet we door. two styles, we rip two styles down to 15 and a quarter inches long, and two rails by eight and a quarter inches long, by three inches wide, all four pieces are three inches wide. And then we take that, put it on a flat surface, and situate your uh, picture frame the way that you want to see it when it ends up. So I like, I've got it situated the way I want it. I like this surface better than I like the back side of these surfaces. And so this is what I want my picture frame to look like. You then want to go ahead and mark those with an X on all four pieces. And the reason why you want to do that is on all of the uh, milling process, when we put these through the routers, the face goes down. And so when you bring it to the router, if you have your X showing, you know that it's, the, it's upside down. Also, when you go to assemble it, then you'll also have all of your reference face and the same orientation, and it'll fit together nicely. There'll be, uh, the joints will fit nice, and everything will look good in the end. So, on this first router, what we do is we just do the uh, ends of the rails. So you're just going to take the two short pieces, the two eight and a quarter inches long, and you're going to bring those over to the, this first router. And on this first router, what we do is we just do the uh, ends of the rails. So you're just going to take the two short pieces, the two eight and a quarter inches long, and you're going to bring those over to the, this first router. And the router should be set up the way that we want it for three quarter inch stock. And we're going to use this little sled here to do that. Face down, you want to put it in the sled and put it up against the fence and make sure that your, the end of your rail is up against that fence so that you have it, um, the depth is set just right. Lock it down with this handle and with this toggle clamp and you're ready to go. The way that I like to teach this is I like to put my sled up against my fence and then I'm going to rotate into the router bit and then run it through. And I, as soon as I get past that middle point, it's okay to pull it out. You don't need to go all the way through and cut up the sled any more than you have to. Okay. So you, you want to make sure though that everything's tight up against the fence. Everything's flush up against that uh, fence that you have everything locked down and it's nice and secure. Make sure that your hands stay on the handle grip so that you don't get, don't get tempted to put it in here and catch your finger on that or back here. Make sure they're up on the grip so you're nice and safe. Make sure, of course, that you're wearing your appropriate safety attire. So we turn it on. Make sure your vacuum is hooked up to it so that we uh, keep a nice clean shop. And then we go ahead and run it through. It should look like this. After you run it through once, you want to turn it around, again making sure that that X that you've put on the face side is face down again. And remember to turn it around, don't turn it over, so the same face is down. The X is not up, so I know I'm in the right orientation. So I've done my two rails, it's time to do all four pieces on the next router, uh, so we'll go ahead and move over.